mubarak Allah, they're not frequenting the masjid on the regular base. Walhamdulillah, one of the things we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for is on Friday. The people now, they know that when they come to the masjid, they have to make the row straight. When you tell them, put their feet together, nobody will fight you for that. Because of continuously telling them. And there is no shining because the Prophet sallallahu he used to do that. So the Imam, alhamdulillah, telling this person, come forward, go backward, go back, go back a little bit, come forward a little bit. Let him understand that he is doing the same thing the messenger used to do. And likewise, none of us will have an issue. And as the hadith say, walinu bi aidi ikhwanikum. And be soft on the hand of your brother. If we tell you move back, move back. If we tell you move up, move up, move up. If we tell you close the gaps, close the gaps. So as far as putting those lines, Shaykh al bani rahimahullah, he said those lines don't have no place in the masjid. Don't have no place in the masjid. Because it was not found at the time of the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's not like this microphone where it is just, we can do without it. If a person, barakallahu fikum, there is nobody on the side, and there is nobody in Oklahoma or nobody else listening to the class online and stuff like this, we don't have no need for this. So, yeah. so therefore, but having the line, where the people, they're going to depend on the line to make the row straight, then that line is part of the salah. What is the qaida? Mala yatimmu mala yatimmu al wajib illa bihi fahuwa wajib. That which that the obligation will not be completed without it will be obligation. Right? Mala yatimmu al wajib illa bihi fahuwa wajib. If the obligation would not be completed except by this thing, then that thing is an obligation. Fahim tum? So therefore, to ha not to have the line, Barakallahu Fikum, this is more correct, Barakallahu Fikum. But, but alhamdulillah, to have it where, mashallah, is planned and uh, people, the imam can rectify the ranks, put the ranks down, and, you know, alhamdulillah, and the people of the sunnah, alhamdulillah, they are very easy. You can recognize when they come to the salawat, it's, it's very easy for them to line up properly and correctly. And make sure, Shaykh Rabbi Hafidhullah mentioned, one of the issue the suburb of the humiliation of this ummah, it is because the ranks in the salat, people leave gaps. Mm. Look at this small thing. That could cause the humiliation that our brother in Burma are suffering from. It could be. Just not being mindful of the gaps. Just not being mindful of closing the gaps. You all remember the narration of what? Of who? Huh? About the gaps. We mentioned this mirar and watakrar. Yes, the shaitan will be between you and your brother. Yes, the shaitan will be between you and the brother. Of the Sahabi Radwanullah Ali Majid mentioned that the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when he say that strain up your rose. For indeed, I, was, I can see what is behind me. He said, from that, the Sahaba, they will put their shoulders, their thighs, and their ankles together. But now you want to find, where is the proof that we put our, 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 what you, our toes together? Where is the proof for that? If you do it, you don't have no proof. But Amma Barakallah, putting the shoulders together, the, the thighs together, like this, right? Putting the thighs together and putting the, an the ankle bones together, there is proof and evidence for this. As Imam Abu Dawud, rahimahullah, brought this narration. But Amma, to do this like this, to put our, 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 our what you call it, toes, like our pinky toes like this together, you got to have a proof for that. You got to have a proof for that. And alhamdulillah, it's not that you just come into the Ibn Abbas that you're doing it. But wherever you go, do it right, Barakallah Fikum. And, and, and then the other issue is that your feet have to face the Qibla. The feet have to face the Qibla. 
The feet cannot be facing like this. This is not facing the Qibla. The feet has to face the Qibla. al istiqbal al Qibla. That's why when we make the Takbir, we don't make the Takbir like this. We don't make the Takbir like this. But rather we make the Takbir with what? Our palm facing the Qibla. Everything facing the Qibla. Our, to our, our toes, our feet. Barakallah fikum. Our chest is straight up facing the Qibla. But not like this. Wasallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbi ajma'in. Insha'Allah ta'ala, the next class we'll have, we'll be dealing with the issue walahu an yuattir bi thalathin, bi thalathati rak'at, bi thalathi rak'at. And it is for him to also make the witha with three rak'at. Insha'Allah, how to make the three rak'at, bi idhnillah ta'ala, we'll come to it. Wasallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbi ajma'in. If there was a mistake that I have done. Please rectify me. May Allah, the one that is free from any imperfection, rectify me. May Allah subhanahu allahumma la tuharrim alayna rahmataka bisababi dhunubina. Allahumma la tuharrim rahmataka bisababi dhunubina. Oh Allah, do not deprive us from your rahmah because of our sins. Oh Allah, do not deprive us of your rahmah because of our sins. Oh Allah, do not deprive us with your rahmah because of our sins. Allahumma gfir lana jami'an. اللهم اغفر لنا جميعا واهدنا إلى سبل السلام